Kyle looks like a space marine with his bulky armor. He's a tank that deals with magnetic force. He also plays the role of a controller, apparently, according to what the menu says. And I just want to go over my Kyle build, my build for Kyle, which kind of skews more towards the tackle task because I like personally like using characters and roles that use their what their body as a weapon. All right, so Kyle has a custom resource called Magnetic Force. If you look at the out here, you notice on the bottom he doesn't actually have any MP, so everything kind of depends on cooldown and Magnetic Force. So why don't we go to the Descendant here? He has two ways to get magnetic force without any mods all right just base kyle he has two ways to get magnetic force one is this repulsion dash which is i it's called it a tackle right it's pretty short cooldown you get three stacks and um he pretty much dashes forward and charges into an enemy and you get magnetic force and then the second way is that he summons a screen that blocks projectiles and then when the projectile hits the screen he gets some magnetic force back all right now we have two ways that he uses magnetic force uh the most the way that he uses the most is technically the skill three which is magnetic spurt which actually uses his magnetic force as another set of shields so you pretty much build up your magnetic force with these skills and then you use this to put up another shield and then at the end of there is a cooldown on the button. At the end of that, it either does explosion or when it does a certain amount of damage, it all would just explode. Okay. The third way is that he go jetpack Superman mode, right? And he uses up all the magnetic force that you have, and then he goes soar in the sky. And then on impact, he does a lot of damage. Okay, you can see on the screen eleven thousand, and then additional damage depending on the magnetic force uh, consumed. And it does an AOE 5 meter radius. Um, but you have to be careful with this skill. Because if you collide with anything, even the environment, it would just trigger the, the explosion. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to use it in a dangerous, dangerous situation where when you trigger, um, you're going to get attacked. Because I usually use it when I'm not aggroed. Because then I will have no mana force, right? So and if I lose all my shields, then I'm like super vulnerable. And then I usually use this skill, magnetic sport spurt. And you can't trigger this if you have no magnetic force. Because over time, your magnetic force will get drained when you're using this. Um, so you got to be careful when you want to use this Superman move here. I just want to go over quickly the weapons. This isn't a weapon build or anything. It's pretty much a Kyle, but he has two main weapons that you want to use for him. Thunder Cage and Secret Garden. I am still in a work in progress of getting a Secret Garden at the moment. Thunder Cage, uh, I farm. It's very easy to farm that one. So I have that maxed out. That's my main weapon of choice for close range and stuff like that and AOE bombing. Uh, Secret Garden is more for my long range and when I'm like out of ammo or I need to shoot a little bit further away <laughs> or I just have it on because um, he, Kyle actually had nothing but text and dimension skills. Secret Garden actually for dimension skill you recover magnetic force a set chance and then when you use the tech you get a buff which I believe increases your skill damage and firepower. So that's pretty good. So that's my work in progress plan right here now. Um, I guess I can go over my Thunder Cage build that I have a moment. I pretty much concentrate mostly on crit rate, crit damage, and then secondary weak point damage. And I have this special mod um, when reloading your rounds on assume because Thunder Cage shoots very fast. So those three seconds, you can like just spam hella a lot and a lot and a lot of bullets. So I have fire concentration here with increased crit damage as well. And then this one increases this firearm attack. Uh, recoil doesn't matter too much. Uh, if you're using a mouse, you can just aim. <laughs> you can just control your mouse that way or get, get, get super close. You'd be up close and personal anyways. Uh, and Thunder Cage is good because it's a machine gun, right? You want to be up and close for maximum output. And Kyle wanted to be up and personal with his, his skills pretty much. Uh, this one's for round and give you crit damage is the crit damage and crit rate this one gives you more crit damage so that's just lot of crit damage and then weak point damage this one is quick point damage and crit rate <laughs> uh crit rate and weak point damage and this one firearm attack so that's where um my stats are mostly into firearm right now 
it's not fully capped out or anything if you notice i don't have like everything half off okay but yeah so that's what i don't have a secret garden build yet because i don't have the weapon so i can't really say what's good while testing and whatnot let's just go with the reactor reactor i'm using uh a non-attribute one with tech and off the submachine gun class and then i went for self-attack power because i like kicking <laughs> And I like tackling non-attribute, so that's what you want to kind of go for, non-attribute stuff. Uh, maybe some tech stuff, okay? Uh, for the components, I'm actually aiming for Annihilation. Um, currently, I all have is like bravery and defense stuff. So that's not the end of the world, but uh, that's what I have. But I, my plan is to actually get Annihilation, which I believe is... Let's see, let's go right here. Annihilation... Which gives you skill duration, which allows you to do Manet Expert longer, right? So you have to cool down on there. Uh, and then your firearm proportional to HP loss. Um, I don't have anything that like lowers my HP or anything, but it, it just comes into if you're in danger, you know, I'm in danger, right? <laughs> then this will trigger, right? You don't have MP, so MP recovery minus 22, it doesn't matter. All right, and then you get, you get heal. Uh, bravery is the secondary that you can use it gives you hp and max shield so that's a plus right there and skill duration increased by 6.6 percent you can go two piece this and two piece this to be honest because um this is set skill duration 5.7 and this is uh you don't and this gives you 6.6 .6 up to a certain amount of whatever your thing is but you can just have a constant 5.7 if anything and you don't really do stun uh, I'll show you why later, but you don't really use uh, stun anyway, so this second part is like useless. <laughs> Let's look at the mods. Uh, sub attack, use whatever you want, right? I like kicking. You do haul, it doesn't matter at all. It's kind of the same thing. And then, what's the main three you want pretty much in every build, right? Every pretty much descendant, you want like HP and defense. You may or may not want shields, but for Kyle, his things are kind of proportional to shields max amount of magnetic force increases proportional to max shields so when the shields can fully consume you get magnetic care that's the secondary passive uh and it's pretty long cooldown though by the way so <laughs> so when you actually lose your shield he has a chance he gets a little bit of shield and then that's on cooldown um so that's what magnetic care kind of does give you some shield recovery based on your max shields but yeah so you want to max out shields uh, you also want to max out skill cooldown. He doesn't MP, so you just want to do skills as much as often as possible, right? There's no cost related, just tied to cooldown. So what you want to tie to is shields and cooldown. And then obviously you have the HP and defense, just so it's your tank. So what I have here is time distribution, because that's skill cooldown, and it gives you extra HP, survivability. And I have this skill cooldown, nimble finger fingers, so there's more skill cooldown. This one gives you more max shield. There's not a lot of options for max shields. Uh, mostly just this and this. They do have, I think, like MP conversion or whatever too, but uh, these are the main ones I would consider. Uh, I don't know if the skill cost actually trigger like less magnetic force being used, but someone let me know. And I have this focus on non-attributes, give you skill cooldown. Right, and it boosts all your skills. Um, here I have potent collector. I do want shield collector though. That's the main thing I want to go for. Shield collector for support tech. But yeah, this gives you mad force when you kill someone, but it's at a chance, right? I don't have shield collector. The only way to get shield collector is from combining modules at RNG rates, right? So good luck with that. So I'm still trying to get it. Um, but yeah, that's what I have so far, and I do have some plans to getting more modules. So why don't we go here and take a look here? So I do want to. So let's let's. Why don't we look at shields, in general, right? Max shields. So I can show you. All right, it's conditional recharge, which isn't too bad. So it kind of works well with annihilator. So you can still totally use that instead of potent collector too. But I rather just kill like like all the bosses summon mobs eventually, right? You just kill one, you get some shields back. Which is um, not here, but I guess I can, I can do shield, shield collector. Yeah, this thing. So the V enemy instantly just DV shields and then there's a cooldown. I believe when you level this up, you get more and more shields. I, I don't know what the max one is. It's probably pretty high. So just 
you need uh, emergency shields? There you go. Okay, so anyways, let's look at max shields. This makes your max. This this thing not worth it. Okay, it makes your. Oh wait, there's not, not that way. Um, I think there was one where it gives you the other version of this, which it sets your HP to one, and then your max shield is like you get max shield two percent. That's hella low, so not worth it. Uh, shield range, so it gets you get a bigger screen, I guess, and then I guess bigger AOE effects. Not a bad choice. Uh, so this is what I have here. Uh, this this one lower your shield. That's not what you want. Lower shield. Uh, you can. I would not sacrifice HP for max shields because you want to be tanky. So you don't want to sacrifice. Yeah, that lowers the shield. Yeah, that's pretty much it, right? So there's also another tech that you can use. I think multi talented also works. So that's another um, yellow you could probably use for that. Because the dimension is skill, lower your cooldown, and then your, your tech skill, your skill range, and power modify increases. So that's one thing I want to mention. Uh, but the one purple I'm actually going for is focused on tech. This is the only focus on whatever that I don't have. Right? I want to use this because it gives skill cooldown, and it, it maximizes my Superman move and my tackle move. And then I like to skew more toward tackle. So I this is the plan to, that I want to use for attacking. Um, let me just double check here. And I might use this too because I don't have a range. So I would probably use this as my two slots. Right? Because then if you look up skill power, I was thinking of using this technician, but this is also attack and kind of... You can only use one attack, right? So that that other one is also attack. The focus on tech, and this one is technician also on tech. So I would use um, focus on tech and the skill range one. Okay, so here here comes the big thing. The reason why I'm not using any skill modules because they all kind of suck. Okay, or kind of they do suck. So why not go to uh, journal? Oh, we can type in Kyle here and give the reasons. So collision in, in collision instinct loses your defense buff. Because when you do a tackle, you get the defense buff. And that defense buff is kind of huge, like 32% or something. That's pretty that's a lot, okay? And you just get stunned. And you can't stun bosses, right? So what it why, right? You lose your you lose so much survivability just to try to affect the stun. Yeah, it can pair up with that conditional. What was uh, not conditional? It can pair up with the with that component set where you can do stun and you lower your cooldown, but not 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 worth it. And then we have this self destruct direct. This sound cool, right? You get to do a big suck and deal damage. The problem is that this thing has the long cooldown and it's a long cast time. And while it's casting, you're you're slowed down and you can't even shoot. So. Um, long cast time. It has long cast time. Fun trying to say. Long cast time, long cooldown. Uh, you lower your movement speed. Not worth it. Okay, while doing this, this thing, uh, it pretty much converts your screen to not block projectiles anymore and just knock by enemies. This have like a niche thing where if you're like up and close personal, you can just keep spamming this. But the whole point that I only use this shield is when I'm too far away. Right, everything is kind of like up close and personal. And then you need something against long range. And this is your like your anti-long range thing. So when I'm in the box, like finding Death Ride, there's freaking lava on the floor. I can't get to her. So if she, if she targets me, I put this up and I can get magnetic force based on projectile. But this defeats the purpose, right? You lose that. You lose that projectile defense. So I don't think that's worth it. And we have super conductive bombing. Um, I heard the bombs don't actually do too much, maybe like 28k or something. I don't know. That's what I read. I don't have this personally. I think a lot of extra damage doing this, so I don't think this is worth it, just all in general. But yeah, that's pretty much my quick build. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions and whatnot. Um, but I'll hopefully get this completed, get a uh, shield collector, get focused on tech, and then I'll probably put on that um, shield range. Amplify, amplification control. And with that, hope you find this helpful. Later days.